I'm Zale, and today I'm going to take you through how to make an animated landing page in Foundry. Uh, before we begin, there's a couple of things you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need Photoshop or GIMP or some other sort of image editing software. Uh, I'm not going to go through how to make the art assets. That's up to you for your campaign. I'm just going to show you how to use the assets that you have made with a couple of these modules to make an awesome landing page. As you can see, I've got you know some weather effects, it's raining here in the woods, and uh, you can see the uh, text for animated here is itself animated. Um, you will need, when you're making the assets, you will need an understanding of masks. Um, some of that you should sort of be able to gather looking at the assets as we use them, um, but you you may want to watch a couple of tutorial videos on you know, Photoshop or whatever. Um, the two biggest things that you're going to need to make this are going to be the Parallaxia module, which allows you to have moving tiles. Um, the other is going to be the FX Master module, which is what is allowing all of the cool weather effects and fog. Um, so, uh, before we get started, um, I'm going to show you the assets. Um, which we've got right here. Um, in our already in our Foundry folder, I've just got a folder called Images Landing Tutorial. And this is just three images. Um, the base image, which is there. Um, the middle image, which as you can see is doing most of the heavy lifting and it's just some bars of color. Um, and then the top image, which is very hard to tell, but a lot of this is actually semi-transparent um, and masked out. And that is what is enabling as the bars move behind it it creates the animation. So let's close all that out. And uh, I've got all of our notes over here in chat. So if you, you know, forget the things you need, they're listed right there. Uh, but let's dive right in and create a new scene. We will call this Landing Demo. Uh, we're going to go to our background image. We're going to images, go to our landing tutorial, and we're going to choose the base layer. So like that. <clears throat> we're going to leave this alone for now, um, but we are going to go ahead and turn the grid opacity all the way down. We're going to turn the padding down, and we're going to set the width to 1920 by 1080, which is what I use to make the landing page. Um, you just need to match your uh, image dimensions. Um, you are going to want to turn token vision and fog exploration off. Uh, otherwise, your your players will need tokens on the map and they won't be able to see it. So just turn those off. You can see I have some other modules for stuff, but just ignore those. Everything, you know should pretty much function. Also, I'm uh, using the Pathfinder system. If you're using uh, the other system, which shall remain nameless, um, a lot of this should be the same. The modules still work. None of this is system specific. It's all system agnostic. It should work with pretty much everything. Um, but we've got our background image. We've got our grid. Um, opacity down, and we've got our image dimensions. We're going to go ahead and save this. It's going to give us our little warning. Hold OK, and you can see we've got our landing demo page. Now, we've just got our page with our great background, nothing else. So we're going to go to Tiles, and we're going to make a new tile. We're going to grab the corner and drag it out. It's going to try to adhere to a grid, so you're not going to be able to get it exact in the corner down here. So just get it close and then type in your image dimensions, which again, we know are 1920 by 1080. 
And then for this, since this is going to be the moving animated layer, uh, we are going to set the Z index uh, to 25. It, the number doesn't really matter, but the default is 100, and we need this to be lower than the next layer we make, so just 25 works. Um, we're going to choose our middle layer, which is our uh, t moving teal bars, um, and we're going to go ahead and create this tile. And you can see it is just sitting there over the top of the image, not doing anything. Uh, this is where uh, Parallaxia comes in. Um, again, Parallaxia module. Um, it comes in right here. If you right-click uh, Tile when you have Parallaxia in, you'll see this little waterfall uh, icon. You go ahead and click that. It's going to start moving the tile, and it's going to add this Parallaxia uh, right here. Um, this is all really complicated. But for what we are doing, we don't need anything other than the delta offset, which is just the change in the XY position. Now, this image is set up. We don't need it to move on the X because it's going to give us that weird stuff going on there. Uh, so instead, we're going to set it to move on the Y, and we want it to go up. Uh, so we're going to do negative. And we want it to go really fast, so we're going to do probably, you know, 800. Um, just click into another field and you can see it, it starts moving really quick. Um, we're going to go ahead and hit save. I always hit save a couple of times because when you have Parallaxia it doesn't close this window. Uh, you have to close it yourself. Um, at this point I also like to go up here and hit this little lock icon so that you can't move the layer or do anything with it. Uh, that locks it and uh, now if we try to move it nothing is happening and we can't mess up our work. Now we're going to add the topmost layer so we're going to try and get the corner again up here. Um, sometimes this doesn't like to cooperate when you're trying to draw new tiles. That's my GM screen. Um, there we go. Same thing, you're not going to be able to get it to the corner, but we know our image dimensions, so we can just punch them in. And like I said earlier, this layer does need to be on top, so we're going to leave the Z index alone. Um, and we're going to choose the top layer, and we're going to hit OK, create new tile. And now you can see this tile is over the top of the other one. Um, we're going to go ahead and click it, right click it, and lock it so we can't mess it up. And you can see now our text is sort of flickering, you know, animated. Uh, at this point, we don't need the background, and we want to go ahead and get this where when people log in, it looks right. So we're going to go ahead and configure this again. Uh, we're going to go to basics, and we're going to go to this background color and drag it down to black. And we're going to set our initial view, just kind of get it where you want it on your screen so that the whole page is visible, and hit this initial view. Go ahead and save changes. Um, we've still got some, you know, little tiling artifacts, little bug that happens on occasion when you're using Parallaxia, but we can just uh, hit F5, do a quick refresh, and uh, go back to our landing demo um, and get all of our Pathfinder uh, <laughs> modules being out of date warnings. Um, so now we're back here. You can see this one doesn't have the weather effects yet and that's where our FX Master module is going to come in. If you have FX Master uh, installed on your world you'll have this little wizard wand over here. And if you hit that, and then hit the little cloud tool, uh, that will bring up our weather menu. And we're going to go ahead and add uh, to, to achieve sort of the same effect that we were achieving on you know, the previous example. We're going to add the rain without splash and save changes. You can see there's our rain effect. Um, and then we're going to add um, clouds. Now, for the clouds, we want to scale them up, make them kind of big. 
we want them to go at a angle of zero that should get them moving kind of along this direction with the rain uh, and then we want to take the tint and bring it down uh, darker um, this is because with FX module the darker that a layer is it sort of is uh, dictates the transparency of it um, and if we save changes on that you'll see the clouds start to kind of come in very soft um, big fluffy subtle clouds um, now we will add just you know a couple other things i like to add you know for something like this we'll get embers and we'll have you know like little little raindrops little rain like mist particles hanging in the air and we'll make them light blue and uh, we'll bring the density down we'll go ahead and save changes on that and you'll see a little wispy little particles floating maybe it's magic or something i don't know use your imagination you can do a whole lot with these effects um you can also for just another little extra touch uh, let's say that you want um, a couple of other things uh, let's add some lightning using the filter uh, effects right here save changes and now now it's storming in our forest um, you can add all kinds of other stuff to this but this is just a a basic tutorial for you know animated landing page uh, you can only imagine some of the stuff that you can do uh, if you have a knowledge of complex masks and doing image assets uh, then you can take this process right here and uh, achieve something like this um, where you have you know kind of uh, getting getting a lot out of a little simple simple things you know three layers same this is the exact same uh, exact same process just a more complicated uh, mask um, on the top layer and uh, yeah that concludes the tutorial thanks for watching uh, you know like subscribe do all the stuff that YouTube wants you to do and um, Keep checking back for more content, more tutorials, more videos.